Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy, Noonie. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another reading. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking a question, what new connections are coming in for you? I may not put that for you at the end of the title, but we're just wondering what new connections are coming in. It's the holiday season. Some of us may be out of town, away from family. We may just be all alone and we may not be dealing with people that we once knew before. Or we could just, you know, because of Scorpio season, we could just be, you know, we might have cut everybody off last Scorpio season and now we're alone. And we're wondering, well, what new tribe, what new friends, what new lover, who, whatever is coming in? What new job, what new whatever is coming in? So that's the intention of this reading. Um, without doing too much, just thank everybody that be getting involved, liking, sharing, commenting, you know, wishing me well. I thank y'all. Those people that be donating, booking those readings, thank y'all. I appreciate you very much. Those people that donated them gifts and be like sending them to me, I appreciate y'all a lot. I love getting those gifts. Like the new cards and stuff, I go crazy for them because I be wanting to spend my money on them. And, you know, I do, but I love when other people get them for me too. Like, dang, so amazing. So I'm very glad that I met y'all. I'm very glad that we've all been interacting over these past few months and the growth that I've been experiencing and hopefully the growth that you guys have been experiencing. Hopefully we're sharing in this and sharing alike. So that's about it. Probably got more stuff to say, but I could ramble for forever. Also, I'm going to be doing a um, get to know me video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm going to do a get to know me video. So that way y'all could know who you're dealing with. Okay. Anyway, so four piles. Pile one. Pile two. Pile three. Pile four. Take a second, pick your pile or piles, and um, get started on the reading with pile one. <clears throat> Boom, pile one. So, pile one, there's a lot of cards. Pile one, what new connections are coming in for you? Uh, uh. Okay, so automatically what I'm picking up, <clears throat> I'm picking up that this may be a slow start, a slow starting uh, connection. We got plants, I got TikTok, I got uh, ice, which is purity. I got bouncing spirituality and practicality. I got the page of pinnacles. Okay, so the commonalities in this, basically what I'm figuring up is this person is either pressed for time or these people will be pressed for time. They're very time organized, like they have schedules, routines, um, but they don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of inquiring or a lot of uh, question asking. Like they don't have a lot of time to, what they do have, they have time, um, how I put it, they have time to like inquire about things, but they don't, they don't react automatically. Like this takes a little while to build because you have ice and you have plants. And so plants is about slow growth, Anything is possible, like allowing opportunities here, allowing things to grow, but it takes a long time to do it. Like they're moving, but they're moving at a snail's pace. Plus, I see this page of pentacles down here, which is slow energy. This is the energy that they're coming in. And the energy I get that they're coming in is uh, pentacles, five of swords in reverse, and the sun in reverse. And this is kind of like, I'm feeling like uh, at war with maybe like their timing or at war with uh, the way that things are moving, like the, pro the progress of the relationship. Things are probably gonna be kind of slow. There could be an energy of um, feeling like, you know, almost like maybe they want to walk away. Like, is this a win or is this a loss? Like, if I walk away, will this work? Or if, I mean, like, if I walk away, will I be sad or will I be upset? Or if, if this build is taking a very long time to get there, like it's taking a very long time to ground itself in a sense or to uh, produce something of, of va not value, but produce something that of like happiness, of contentment. So it's like, it's kind of like they're, they're going to be fighting themselves on whether they want to build this situation. All right. These people are going to be fighting themselves whether they want to build this situation. So it's a people or a person. Signs I have are Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, 
Gemini. All right. And if that's not necessarily them, this person will be uh, they're going to be someone who's very nurturing, though. Someone who, who maybe they're always thinking or caught up in their head because you got balanced spirituality and practicality with the third house. So this could be like someone who does they do communicate often or a lot. Maybe that's something they do for work. Um, they're a caretaker. They could be a nurse. Um, we got Virgo energy here. This is a house of service. So this person is very genuine, very, uh, they're very, uh, giving, they're very organized. <laughs> Excuse me. I get they're very organized, but I get that they're, uh, they're really slow with, in terms of moving, moving towards like new directions because it takes them some time to like lay down roots and situations. But as someone who hands they handle responsibility very well. So they're very on point, on very on point with their with their responsibilities, with their tasks. They're very time goal oriented, so they're organized very well. And so, what's being activated in this in this relationships or these connections will be your intuition, your uh, solar plexus, and your heart chakra. So you're gonna be more receptive. You're gonna be feeling more trusting of people. So this is gonna be a good relationship because it's gonna they're gonna build slowly. All right, and so it's gonna be more pure. It's gonna be more. Um, reliable, more steady, you know, and that's probably why they're conflicted because this is the energy of like feeling like you're not, you're, you're underwhelmed or not really expressing yourself to your fullest potential. And there's a conflict here. And so there's an issue with them actually expressing themselves to their true potential. They're just kind of like at war with themselves. It's an inner turmoil, inner war, and it's more so them stuck in their head about it. You know, um, not quite sure if this is the path that they want to take. That's really the energy here. You know, so they're moving slow. They want to go slow because they're not quite sure if this is the path that they want to take. So, but you are, you do have alignment here and it's telling you to trust in your intuition, trust in the clarity that you have. All right. Cause you may be in the energy of, of wondering kind of like why trying to inquire, maybe asking questions, trying to get to know them a little bit more. And it may seem like they're not opening up, you know, and it's just because it takes them a little bit of time. It just takes them time to actually, uh, get comfortable and to like get, get uh, grounded within themselves to be able to express themselves, you know? So I'm getting that there's a lot of, uh, there might be some type of darkness and this could be, um, maybe it's like a deep emotion. It could be like a deeper emotion that's under them and they're putting on a facade as if they like being single or as if they like being alone themselves. So they're going to probably reflect you. So if you're a person who's used to being alone or enjoys being alone, they're going to be that same type of person, but they're going to be putting on the facade that, they're comfortable being alone when really they want to be with someone else. All right. They want to be like with a partner. They want to be with friends. They want to be like acquainted with people, but they're just very busy. They have a lot of things going on. They're handling a lot of responsibility. They're very good at it. They're very reliable. They're very steady. They're very committed. You know, they're very genuine, very warm. They're going to be very giving, very analytical, maybe a bit self-critical. Um, they're going to be a person who believes in spirituality and they might seem a bit loopy or dreamy. They might go off sometimes into like little tangents where that didn't quite make sense. Whatever they say to you, like, mm, it did not quite make sense, but okay. You know, you, it's, like, it's, it's like an endearing thing. You don't really be upset with them. <clears throat> you got this advice that says you are not alone. The universe is working with you. Relax and enjoy the adventure. So this person is coming in. It's coming in to give you an adventure, to get you out of this rut, all right? Or get you out of being alone, of being single, or being just by yourself. They're coming to offer you, give to you, be of service to you, be genuine with you, be nurturing with you. Um, they want to communicate. They want to talk with you. They want to build a level of trust with you. They're trying to find a way to align with you. But this is all going to be slowly. So it's little bits at a time. This, this page of Pentacles lets me know that this, this is how they're coming. They're going to come in slowly. And they're going to come in uh, kind of like with self-doubt about them, like about the situation. Not quite sure if this is a good situation to invest in. They're not quite sure if this is a situation that can either grow or in, in a, a situation that they can really be happy in. So they're just going to come off kind of like you know, watching and kind of like weary where they're not really putting their eggs all in one basket, but they are going to be loving, giving and nurturing. So even in between that time where they're not quite sure of you, and maybe you're not going to be quite sure of them when they're not, while they're not quite sure of you, because you got mystery here as well. So it's just a mystery. It's confusion. They're not quite sure how they feel about you because it's next to cancer. So they're not quite sure how they feel about you, but they do want to align with you because they're just like you. They don't really want to be alone. You know, they, well, you know, maybe you don't want to, you know, maybe you don't mind being alone, but this is the thing, like, they have, like, this energy of wanting to be with someone else and align with them, but they want it to go slow, and they want to dig in, you know, dig in and get the questions, but they're not quite sure if this is something worth investing in. So, this is who this person will be. Hopefully, I did a great job of describing them. 
you know, but let me give you signs one more time. We got Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Pisces again, and Leo energy again. So this could be multiple Leos. This could be multiple, uh, well, you only have Leo twice. So this could be one Leo, or you could have two Pisces, because you got two Pisces here. So this could be two Pisces, two Leos, one Gemini, one Cancer, or this could just be one person who's exercising the energy of all these signs, you know, or you could be in here somewhere as well. You'll know better than me, but this is the person that I was just describing. They, they, they definitely have deeper feelings for you than they're letting on, or they have more more care. They, they're, they're not really like exposing what it is that they're truly feeling or thinking. And that might be what's going on here. It's the energy that they're going to come in, not really exposing who they truly are or thinking, like having a problem truly expressing themselves. So they're going very slow. So this person may not express their emotions very well or may not express their thoughts very well, but they will communicate with you. But it'll be more like lovingly, romantically. Um, it'll be like things that help you, more practical things, you know, and, and if, they, if they share if they share feelings with you, it'll be more about like, you know, like being um motherly nurturing like you know what's in your best interest type of thing that's the type of person this this person will be they'll be speaking to you about what's in your best interest how to move forward how to grow how to evolve how to you know make practical decisions in your life and that's what they're going to be coming along to help you with and that's what they're going to be giving you but the intention of why they do it may be kind of unclear because they're unclear whether this is something that they want to invest in okay so pow one <clears throat> that's what i got thanks for watching this your boy Nuni, and this is Leo in the third house. Yo, this was like 21 cards that I just read, right? I was not for sure how that was going to play out, but then I thought, it must be because it's going to be a lot of people. All right. Boom. Pile two. Oh, wow. Pile two. Ooh, what new connections are coming in for you? Mm. So, <clears throat> what connections are coming in for you? New connections. May not be new. Might be old. You got a uh, south node, and we have new life in reverse. And then we have judgment down here in reverse. And four pentacles in reverse. And ace of pentacles in reverse. And ace of wands in reverse. <clears throat> But then on the other side, we have commitment and your commitment is being tested and have faith in your dreams and negotiation. That's weird. Okay. And then in the middle, we have self-worth. So I'm seeing something here. Okay. I can see this. So. It's not bad. This is just, you know, I think this might be where you are in the journey where you're just going to be kind of like encountering these people maybe maybe because this negotiation has to negotiate with past uh past lessons past karmic ties that you've done but the south node in this deck represents actually going after an adventure that might have seemed like uh it was from the past or like in the old it's just taking an adventure going after something that uh you might have once done before or like it feels like feels like you've done before and this new life is like uh not allowing like new new situations or new energy to come into the situation Instead, you're, you're like pretending to be going with the flow and just like comfortable in solitude because you got solitariness right here and we have out to sea. <clears throat> so this is kind of like, this is you just kind of like being stuck in that same pattern of pre pretending, or not pretending, but preferring to be a uh, loner, you know, because solitariness is like being a loner, but showing other people how to do it. All right. And so negotiation is going to come in with what it is that you really desire. Your commitment is being tested. So the signs that we have here are Leo, Pisces, Aries, um, Sagittarius. <clears throat> These are the energies. Now, doesn't mean that that's who they are, but it just means that they may be acting in this capacity, which is, uh, so they're like, I know it's kind of dreamy, but this is more of a, they're gonna, they could have psychic abilities because sleeper it represents psychic abilities. So this person could have psychic abilities but what they're going to be doing is coming in, giving you, teaching you value of self-worth, 
all right? Helping you uh, feel more secure within yourself and finding your purpose. They're gonna help you move towards your North Node because where you're at right now is currently in the South Node, repeating some of the old cycles and patterns. But this is gonna take you on an adventure of self-discovery, all right? That's what adventure in South Node means. It means uh, taking you on a journey of self-discovery, of things that you might have missed. And so that's what they're doing because right now you're kind of like going with the flow, allowing things to just, you know, play how they play. You're comfortable alone. You know, you're not adding any new people. You're not doing anything brand new. You haven't started any new relationships or new connections. It's just kind of like, I mean, even if you have started them, because new life in reverse still could mean that there's possibly new connections. It's just connections that haven't gone anywhere. Because you got this Ace of Pentacles, they haven't started anywhere. It's a false start. So this is like, you haven't made a decision with this judgment in reverse. You haven't made a decision on them and you're not trusting your intuition on these uh, on these relationships or the the possibilities or the opportunities that have come in. Instead, you're staying in this, this solitary energy of being comfortable alone, of just doing your own thing. Um, and this is some of your self node behavior. It's like a protection. You know, now it's going to send you on a journey of, of self-realization, of understanding yourself and understanding your journey and understanding your purpose here overall. This person that's coming in is going to be teaching you more about self-worth, teaching you more about... Uh, trusting in yourself and feeling safe within yourself, feeling more secure emotionally, being more receptive. And when you're secure, you allow new things in because you know that you know how to handle yourself. So they're going to be teaching you to trust in yourself. They're going to be teaching you to feel more uh, aware of yourself and feel more loving with for yourself and be more compassionate for yourself. You know, they're going to teach, they're going to help you get, find your new purpose or find your life purpose. Um, like I said, this could be a psychic. This could be a person who's a psychic. Or just a person who has very high intuition, you know, they may be a bit paranoid sometimes, or come off paranoidy, where it seems like they're um, they're always worried about stuff. You know, oh, this could be wrong, this could be wrong. Like they're they're like a worry ward, all right. But they're gonna come in though and, and give you inspiration. Like they're gonna boost you up and give you inspiration. But there's gonna be some type of negotiation, and I think the negotiation is on whether to create something with them. Because this is an adventure. This is a journey. So whether it's you're, you're like the indecisive part for you would be like whether you want to create with them or like work some type of agreement where you guys are like both getting something out of this. Like where you guys could either grow this situation and, and make it turn into something because you also have faith and dreams. You have your commitment is being tested and we have Juno, which has to do with commitment. So this is like this is this is you deciding on whether you want to commit. Whether you would like this situation to go in, in, in a direction, whether you would like it to be something. Because you have eight, this uh, Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in Reverse, which is giving me not really being clear with your emotions or intentions. You know what I mean? This could be a truth that needed to be spoken. Feelings that need to be shared. <clears throat> old beliefs that are needing to be released. You know what I mean? Old ways of being, old patterns are needing to be released. This is the energy that they're coming in. And so this is your mirror. They're going to be showing you because you you're in the same energy. So they're coming in this energy of lacking clarity, of lacking the ability to express their emotions openly or express their emotions in a, in a positive way or express their emotions in a way that can be understood or felt. They're, they're going to be letting go of old beliefs, previous beliefs, previous belief patterns, old people and old cycles, right, with this four pentacles. And there's like a false start. So there's, an, there's a, a feeling of insecurity and there's a feeling of not quite sure if this situation will uh, be a stable a stable like a stable relationship or a stable start like it might start stop start stop start stop it won't be consistent and that's what that's where you're learning this self growth this is going to be a journey though they're going to be inspiring you to engage in yourself because you're you're independent right now but the person that's going to show up isn't going to give you everything that you need which is great you're going to be able to negotiate this is going to get you to do some talking some communicating this is going to make you more committed to actually finding new things new opportunities it's going to get you outside the box if you take this chance, all right, you take this chance with this person or these people, they're going to basically get you outside of what you've already known. And they're going to help you create something new within yourself. It's like a, a, a journey or an adventure within yourself. It becomes self-realization and you start to understand yourself a little bit more and you, a lot of it more is the bottom getting a lot of it more. All right. Because it's going to inspire you. It's going to give you a value of self-worth of feeling more worthy of newer things because then you're in an energy now just kind of going with the flow you're not really dealing with anything new because you got this. This is all like like being solid, being not solid. Be, well, you are probably are solid, but this is like being like uh, by yourself in solitaire. You know what I mean? In solid, in solitary, in solitary. Yeah, in solitary. 
you know, but this is just, they're just coming in to give you this adventure to realize yourself, to notice yourself, to notice your worth, to see what you have to offer to the world. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to teach you to be gentle with yourself because you have this, this feeling of, they're going to teach you how to be more secure within yourself, right? Um, your intuition is going to be boosted from dealing with them. You know, your solar plexus, your heart chakra, and your third eye chakra are going to be boosted by dealing with this situation because probably because they're psychic, it's going to probably boost your psychic ability as well. And because, you know, they have to be very receptive. To be psychic, they have to be very receptive. So they're taking a lot of energies and they're going to teach you how to take in a lot of energies. And at the same time, they're going to teach you how to feel secure while you're taking in all these energies. They're going to teach you how to yield that power or wield that power. But I, what I'm getting is something about the commitment here. Like, this is like a long term. This could be like, it could lead into a marriage. You know, that's kind of weird because I don't know how that could all lead into a marriage. But it's like your commitment is being tested. And I think the commitment is being tested to you getting outside of your comfort zone, getting outside of what you've already known, past beliefs, patterns, and behaviors that you've always exercised. Negotiation is a time to look at what things are working and what things are not working and to you know redo the deals or re like, you know, make make the situation, you know, play out for both people. Like, what can I give? What can you give me? Like, you know, kind of like looking at the situation to see that there's possibility for growth, you know, and then this is also going to be having you asking for what your needs are. When negotiation shows up and the earth and the, uh, and the earth energy is basically making sure that your needs are met, your practical needs are met. Are you stable in this? Is it reliable? Is it steady? You know, so this is going to teach you that, you know, because your commitment is being tested. This is about staying steady, staying, you know, staying on course, keeping things going. And, you know, commitment is like long term commitment. This is spousal stuff. This is like uh, your, your perfect wife. Well, it could be called your perfect wife. This is like what you're attracted to in terms of long term commitment. This is what Juno shows. It shows what you expect in relationships, what you're really, uh, which you're very attracted to, which you would basically give up everything for to get. You know, there's that energy of being committed to it, like be like stuck into it. You know what I mean? And so this could be with a Leo or it could be with an entertainer because they could be an entertainer because we have showstopper. So they could be an entertainer as well. So you could be dealing with a tarot reader or you could be dealing with a medium, a psychic, uh, somebody like that who is online or somebody who sees themselves or Something of the sort, something of the sort, because you also have this crescent moon, which is a self-starter, someone who gets things going, gets things going first. Yeah, so I'm getting that you you may need to actually be uh, the person who decides where this goes, because negotiation in the south node, I'm getting that you you may actually have the um, the upper hand in a sense as a person who gets to decide where this situation will go, all right. Your commitment could be tested towards you or could be tested towards your dreams, your faiths, your ideas. What is it that you truly want? What is it that you truly desire? And then do that. Negotiate to get that that you want. Communicate what it is that you want. You're going to be broken out of a cycle of things that you've always done, which is not speaking your truth, not express your emotions fully, not let go of previous beliefs or, or old programming that's actually held you st stuck or stable in one situation. And then there's the energy of feeling insecure and not quite feeling like you have the power to start things anew or feeling a bit selfish with your time and your energy of resources. That could be the energy here because four pentacles could also be selfish with money or having money issues. So you could be in the energy of feeling selfish with yourself, your time, your energy, your resources. And so you're, you're not really open to either ending situations or even starting any new situations. You're just kind of like in a free fall, in a free fall, free fall. Yeah, like a free fall, like just going with the flow. To see means just going with the flow. This is your first card out. So you're just pretty much just going with the flow. Not looking for anything new, but the old things are still around. And so this person is coming in to basically give you uh, a like a journey, an inner journey within your own inner world to make you, uh, it's going to inspire you and make you feel more secure in yourself and more worthy of what it is that you're asking for. It's going to teach you to boost your commitment to yourself or boost your commitment to your dreams and your desires that you really want. So if this isn't even a relationship, like intimate, this is a person that's going to help you build up a business, build up a build up something steady and like reliable, something that's committed, something that's going to last long term for you. So it could be a business, uh, a business owner, but they're still a psychic, you know, or there's someone who just follows great intuition, and there's someone who has, um, I want to say, some type of platform or somewhere where they get a lot of attention. All right, that's this person gets a lot of attention. Okay, so 
I think that was all the information, but let's, let me give you, let me give you signs one more time. We got Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Those are the energies I got. So that would make them very dreamy, slightly romantic, um, sometimes a bit spacey, very outgoing though, uh, a bit blunt with their, with their communication. Um, even though they may not speak all the truth or speak everything that they're thinking, it does make them a bit blunt. They're very warm. Um, they're genuine though, uh, but they just may not speak everything that's on their mind. They're definitely a person who's like very attractive because um, you have, they may have light, very nice long hair. Um, I'm seeing like lighter skin, tan, brown, pale. Those are the skin colors here. Complexion, if we're asking, like a tan, nice tannish. Um, hair though, hair is big, black, black hair, blue hair, mostly black, blue, black. Oh, we got blonde hair. I don't know why I'm telling you the attributes of what they may look like, but I guess that may be important here. Okay. But yeah. That's what I got. Pile two. Thanks for watching. This your boy Noon. And that's Leo in the third house. Pile two, pile three. Boom, pile three. So, pile three. Uh, what new connections are coming in for you? Mm. It might be a lawyer or somebody, somebody who knows education or knows like, uh, they're gonna be teaching you something. Could be a teacher. But as someone who works works well with like mediating situations, they're gonna be very devoted. This is a new start. So this is someone new, but it's not like set in stone. It's gonna be someone who wanna connect with you and lay down roots. And uh, they're very ambitious. They're very expansive. This is North Node down here, but they might be a bit disloyal. All right. And they're a person who, they could be a bit uh, impulsive because we have deep knowing in reverse and go to distance in reverse. So they could be a bit impulsive. They could be a bit uh, disloyal or not uh reliable in terms of like relationships they may not you know but but this is the thing there's like a richness to it there's a deeper richness to it and there's emotion to it and there's a feeling to it and there's expansion to it but i get that they're afraid of like sharing their feelings because we have scorpio work through your fears so i get that they're afraid of sharing their feelings of being devoted to people of being devoted to one person there's a mediator so it could be a libra could be a sagittarius could be a Libra, could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, could be a Gemini, could be a Aries, or could be a Libra Taurus. Those are the signs that we got. <clears throat> you know, but they're going to be in an energy of uh, not feeling either quite attractive, or they're going to be in an energy of feeling like they don't have um, enough uh, viable options. Maybe they feel like the people that they have around them are not the best type of options, or they're like the, the, they feel like they're not the best type of people. They're gonna not feel too abundant within themselves. Um, they do have resources, they have things to offer, but they don't feel like they have enough because they have marine life, which is richness, it's abundance. This is having a having enough, having your having your your needs and your mets like met, but this is an abundance of it. So this is a person that has a lot going on for themselves. They're very ambitious. You know, they want to keep contact with you. The only person who, who you guys have similarities with because this bridge means that they're like, they have an understanding. Like they very well get you. They get you. They have it like, it's very clear. There's a very understanding here. But what they're going to be doing is boosting your intuition. Your third eye is showing up. So they're going to be boosting your intuition and your solar, your solar plexus chakra. And this is about like uh, handling fear, not being afraid. So they're working through their fears and then Scorpio energy here. So they're working through their fears and then, and you probably are too. And they're going to be teaching you how to get away from the fears. You're going to feel like you're going to recognize that you are the answer to all your problems or to all the issues that you're afraid of. They're going to teach you a lot of learning. There's going to be a lot of a lot of philosophies. But like I said, I felt like a lawyer, but it doesn't have to be a lawyer. 
You could be a lawyer, but you got mediator here too. So this is someone who does communicating with other people, working deals with other people, negotiating with other people. You know, they problem solve. They get in the middle and make, you know, they, they squash issues. If there's issues, you know, I also get this energy of them being very fair, very uh, easygoing, you know, very uh, relatable, very sociable, you know, but they're very like a teacher. They're very good with teaching. They're very charming, um, very charismatic. Is that, that's, like, that's really showing up and they're going to be giving you a new start teaching you how to go with the flow of things. So this may not be something that you're used to because the energy that they're going to also be in is releasing these childhood wounds. They're going to be releasing childhood wounds and releasing the need to control opportunities or control new beginnings. So this is this person. This person is going to teach you the same way. But they are a bit disloyal and impulsive. You know, they also have this energy of not following their own intuition. So that's, that's where you're going to learn to trust yours because you're going to probably see them not, not doing what they're supposed to do even though, because the energy is weird, because they go, it's like they fluctuate back and forth between being extremely devoted, right, to you, and then they go into an area where they're afraid again. They're scared, you know, so it's that Libra energy of being one way for a second and then going back and like, oh, now I'm over here now. And that's kind of how they're going to be, because nothing set in stone means that they're going with the flow, that this, it's not set in stone that this may go anywhere. You know, it could be a bit of like this, the uh, deceit and betrayal or lies. That are going to be involved in this relationship, friendship, partnership. It is a level of that, but this is only so that it can boost your intuition because this is really big, really a big thing here. Your intuition is here. You're learning how to how to actually use your intuition. This person is going to be coming in to boost it so that you can trust in your own thoughts and feelings and, and know what to do. So you can have your own level of clarity within your third eye. So you can see what's best for you. They're gonna be coming in. To build some type of connection with you. They just want to keep in touch with you. They just want to you know, connect with you at least. And they're going to let go of control of the situation. And let go of some of these childhood wounds that they've been carrying. They're going to come in with this energy of feeling like they don't have enough uh, viable options. Or they don't have enough opportunities. Like they're not able to create enough opportunities. They could come in and they already have opportunities going for them. And they just don't want to share resources with you. That could be that type of person who just doesn't want to share resources with you, but they do want to connect with you. They just want to like be next to you. Um, Scorpio energy here. This could be a sexual thing. You know, it could be a, it could be a sexual thing because this is you know this is like disloyal, and then they're devoted to you. That's sexuality, sacred sexuality, this commitment, but it's like a spiritual, a spiritual commitment. So maybe this person just feels like you guys are connected on a spiritual level, and they just want to have sex with you. They're not loyal. You know, they don't want to keep anything. And, and the loyal means they're just not, they're not loyal with their heart. So they may not really share how they truly feel about you, what they really mean with you. Though they show you in action that they're very devoted, they may have a problem expressing their feelings, expressing their emotions because we have worked through your fear. So they may have problems expressing their feelings and expressing their emotions. They may have a Scorpio placement, um, but they're going to be teaching you that you, you basically have all the answers. You know what's best for you. They're going to teach you how to trust in your own self. Um, you become aligned with the outcome that you want, though the work may be a little bit hard because it's nothing is set in stone, even though it's with the new start. So the new start isn't set in stone. That's going to be coming alone. And it's because you may you may actually want to like leave this person because there may be a lot going on. They're going to be they're They're healing in a sense. They're letting go of childhood beliefs and childhood patterns. And they're letting go of the control effort, like the control issue. This is Aries energy. This is the emperor in reverse. So they're letting go of, of, of like... Um, control of needing to be in charge of everything or they could be they could ramp it up a little bit more and really be like taking advantage of stuff but this is this could be a partner because you got the empress and the emperor in reverse so even though you know you both could be in the same energy of feeling like not sharing yourself of not wanting to uh shoulder the burden alone you know or, or uh, the emperor is like you know not minding now sub submitting or he could still be a tyrant in reverse so it's like one of, the, one of the other. They may come off like this because I got this Libra energy where they're going to be a person who has duality and we have Gemini energy. So I get that they're going to be a person who has duality. All right. And it's a mutable, a mutable moon. So I'm getting that their feelings will be like fluctuating. One day they'll be really devoted. The next day they'll be closed off because they're afraid that things have gotten too deep and too intense. So, you know, even if they're a friend, they're going to feel like, you know, you guys are getting to know each other too much. You're, you're getting to know too much of my business. You're 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 like all up in my mess, bro. What's up? That's how they're going to be coming off. Like, you know, they may not say this verbally, but there's going to, there's going to be an energy of them knowing that you've gotten too close and then them kind of, you know, taking off.
not really like dipping on you, but like, you know, just, just distancing themselves, distancing, distancing themselves. You know, this is just an, an, an attempt to, uh, they don't want to work through those fears of emotional intimacy or that fear of intimacy that they have. So this would be, like, this could be someone who, um, this is also a card of litigation. So this could be a lawyer. This could be someone who works in like, uh, some type of business. Cause you're um, like some type of financial business or some, some, some act, like it could be academic. It could be, uh, education. It could be like a doctor. Um, it could be like a religious belief. Um, this could also be like, um, a college professor, a teacher. Cause you got learning here, ninth house. So this could be someone with higher education. This could be a college professor, a teacher, um, just someone who, who has a lot of information. They have a lot of information that they're going to be giving and teaching you and helping you out. It's going to be balancing you out. Um, but they could just be a bit deceitful and a bit dishonest. You know, that's human behavior. So don't judge them for that. You know, this is going to teach you to be more in line with who you are and to trust your own intuition. So at this point in time, you may be worried about how other people think. Like you might still carry the, the, uh, the weight of wearing what other people's opinions are or wondering because you got what will they think what will it start like and where do i start this is like a fear of being criticized or judged by other people and that's kind of where you are and they're going to teach you pretty much to just do as you as you please because they're very ambitious they're very grounded within themselves they're just not grounded within their emotions but this is a this is the north node this is an expansive so this is a good situation should you decide to take it, should you decide to engage because it's going to boost your third eye and boost your clarity and your understanding of yourself around the world at large, because learning is in the Sagittarius house. It's also about in the ninth house. It's also about learning of the world at large, but it's also a self exploration because uh, Sagittarius is uh, the explorer. So sometimes he goes inward and explores because, you know, this is a deep body as well, a deep body of water. So we're here, uh, adventuring into ourselves again you know this is kind of like pile maybe one i think pile one was like that but this is like a journey you know it could be a journey within yourself again or it could just be a journey you know a new journey where you guys are learning and you're learning more about the world and learning more about your intuition and learning more about just your skills the, the, the mindset that you have and they're gonna be getting you out of uh out of that rut having you because I'm, I'm getting like the rut is like you feel like it things need to be um like very passionate, very intense, very deep. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like, that's what you expect. Very passionate, very, very deep, very intimate vibes, right? But this person is going to come in and kind of like balance that out where, you know, you don't really feel like you need people. Like you're going to want them. You're going to enjoy them, but you're not going to have that codependent, like desire to cling. Okay. So this could be like a boss as well. They come in, they teach you, they help you get there. You know, it's sexual energy doesn't necessarily have to be sexual. It could be creative energy. And there's a creative tension where um, they don't want to get too close to you because maybe, you know, you know too much or you understand them too well. And there's a feeling of fear that you might discover them for not being perfect. That's what just came out. A feeling of them, of them, you discovering that they may not be perfect. So it says you will find the clarity and the ability to create now. This person could just be a, a teacher. That comes in to teach you how to create, trusting your intuition, trusting yourself, know that you're the answer to things, you know, move forward. A new star is coming. Nothing is set in stone. If you don't take the effort, take the time out to, you know, actually do it. You might have to fight and scrap to make things happen. That might be what they teach you. They're teaching you to let go of that feeling of being nostalgic and holding on to things from the past, letting go of the, the need to be always right, you know, and just trusting in, in what you believe to be true and not having to actually prove your point. That may be something here is that they're coming along as well to teach you. But I get that they really want to build with you because they see something in you that, that connects you guys. Like I said, it could be a Gemini, but they see you guys having the same same energy. They want to connect with you in that in that case. And there may be a little level of deceit. But don't take that personal because it's not against you. It just may be a, a bit of a manipulation or they're very good at crafty at talking. And so they may... They may deceive you a lot of times, <clears throat> not a lot of times, but they may deceive you a few times just to, you know, get control of the situation because they feel like they need to be the leader in this, in this case, because they're the teacher. So they feel like they need to be the leader in this case. All right. But they're very abundant. They have a lot of things going on. There's underlining emotions. And this is a very expansive relationship that you get in. Should you get in, even though they're not really loyal with their emotions or with their heart, they seem to be more of a, um, they seem to be more of a runner, but only run when things seem to be very intense emotionally, okay? 
But there's a new star coming. So this is a new person that's coming in. Like I said, could be a Libra. Could be a Libra. Could be a Scorpio. Could be an Aries. Could be a uh, Libra Taurus. Could be a Gemini. You know, or could be a Scorpio. Or this could be all of these people. All of this energy could be coming in at one time. So this could be a multitude of people. All right? Because that's how I'm feeling whenever I see multiple signs. Multiple people. Or multiple people of that sign are coming in with that energy. So, pile three. That's what I got. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house. <coughs> Boom, pile four. So, pile four. What new connections are coming in for you? Oh, we got sun energy, could be Leo. We got air energy, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got Aquarius. We got Taurus. We got Scorpio energy with that regeneration. We got Taurus and we got Sagittarius. We got Gemini and we have Leo again. So it could be a multitude of these signs coming in, or this could just be one person exercising this. And this could be you involved in here as well. But you are involved in here, but I mean like this signs that's coming in. This could be your signs, this could be their signs, but this energy of coming in. So they're gonna be coming in because they see you as a soulmate. They see you as a, a happily ever after, 10 of cups. They're gonna be coming in trying to build things, possibly, possibly try to lock you in. I get this as an energy like holding on to you, clinging on to you. They don't wanna let you go. Four of Pentacles though, is usually just like, kind of like closing yourself off, uh, Holding, holding true to like your beliefs. And so they're going to be in that energy of like believing that you're the one, okay? This person is very compassionate, very nourishing. Um, they want to take care of you. They, they're very easy, very easy going. Um, they're a person who doesn't seem to change too quickly. So they're a person who doesn't like, they don't like to let go of things that have ended. You know, they don't like to let go of things that have, that, that have like changed. They don't like change. There's a peace, there's an inner peace that you that they have and that they don't really like to change. They don't want things to transform. They don't like that. That's that's their, they don't like that. But they are a person who's very self-expressive because you have uh, the sun right next to uh, speaking your word or voice right here. So they're very passionate, very fiery with the way they communicate, very outgoing, very warm. But they're also a person who gives a lot of information. They, they do a lot of information. Like they change your world with their thoughts or with their speaking. Um, with their thinking, they change your world with their think, with their words, not with their thinking. So with their words, what they say, what they communicate changes your world. Um, they could be a person, though, who uh, like their means always their, their gains always justify their means. They're a bit rough, rugged, could be an underground person, could be a bit street dude, girl. You know, they could be from the hood a little bit or they could be from like a lower, a lower area because you got don't let your past hold you back. So they, there's an energy of them being uh, a bit rough around the edges or having a bit of a. Um, having a bit of like a like a sharpness to them like a like a like a it's like an underlining toughness to them you know where they're like really really uh resourceful but really um resourceful isn't the real word i'm looking for it's like they're really um they're gonna get what they want by any means necessary if that if that is makes it even clearer all right they're a person that feels like they've had to make things work but they're also a person who feels like they're unlovable so maybe you're, you guys are sharing in that same vibe or energy like maybe you're not as worthy of love or maybe that people can't love you or feeling like people don't love you not that you're not lovable but there's just a feeling of people don't love you because of who you are maybe you feel like so you're they're going to come in with the same energy of them feeling like they're unlovable and so you guys are going to connect on that because you're going to feel like you know soulmates <laughs> you're going to feel like soulmates and they're going to see you as a happy a happily ever after all right they're going to see you as a happily ever after you know even with the sun in reverse because you still got the sun here so they they're not going to come in expressing that they're that they're seeing you as this happily ever after. That's not really what they're going to say. <laughs> All right, but they have a plan. They know that prosperity lies ahead, and they're just not quite sure how they want to transform this situation. All right, they're saying don't let your past hold you back and be at peace. So this is like an inner inner um, inner confidence, but it's like an inner relaxedness. Like don't let situations that didn't play out in the past because you're going to be in an energy of like being at peace, but still kind of holding on to things that didn't work out or things that didn't. Um, pan out in the way that you hope they would and so okay so like i was saying someone called and um the video got cut so i'm just going to edit this back in i'm gonna edit this part in 
don't know why. Um, I know why. They were going through something, so they had to call. But anyway. So like, like I was saying, let me finish it. I'm sorry with that. With, I, like, I got lost on that thought. But basically, they're not going to be showing you or, or letting you know that they see you as their happily ever after and as their soulmate and like this is destined for them. They're not going to let you know that up front. They're going to kind of keep that close to their heart, keep that to themselves. Um, but they're going to be very expressive. They're going to talk a lot of life into you. They're going to recharge you. They're going to help you out in a period where you're feeling very dormant because this peace energy is here and don't let your past hold you back as well as regeneration and reverse. This is just the energy of like not, not transforming situations, not moving forward, but like being like just stagnant, not stagnant, but just being still, you know, and, and uh, being kind of comfortable alone, you know, just being at peace alone, but not quite transforming or transmuting the, en the energy into something productive for yourself. So they're going to come in and get you to let go of that past and help you to move forward with this prosperity is ahead. But they're going to do it with ease and they're going to do it by nurturing you and being very compassionate and very loving and very warm. And, and um, like the way they're going to come in giving you stuff is going to be a bit unorthodox or a bit weird. Maybe it's a bit not harsh, but it's a bit rough, rugged. You know, it's not how you would traditionally see things. So it's going to come off a little unorthodox, a bit, you know, eccentric kind of too, you know. It's not what you're quite used to, but they're going to do a lot of talking with you. It's going to be a whole lot of talking. And the talk that they give you recharges you. It boosts you. It makes you feel more confident. It, it gives you compassion. It makes you feel loved. You know, it makes you feel like you're honored or like you can trust them. You know, and it's just a very ease with it. It's going to allow you to let go of that grip of life or feeling like you need to control things. Um, that's where it's really going to be at for you. They're going to give you this ease of life. They're going to make life brighter. Things are going to really, because I'm seeing the sun twice Things are going to get bright. They're going to illuminate some things, you know. Prosperity lies ahead and I'm getting explore. So I'm getting like to explore. Like don't let your past hold you back. It's time to explore the finer things in life. There's a level because you got Taurus energy. This is the connoisseur. This is also um, luxury, reliability. This is comfort, you know. So it's like exploring new things, exploring pleasures. Oh, exploring life's pleasures. That's what Taurus represents as well sensuality like enjoying like you know the mountains enjoying the smell of fresh air enjoying the cold crisp water nice ice cold beer you know crab or whatever it is that you like you know like flavors taste soft fabrics nice clothes you know great sex partners things like this like just like an overindulgent you know maybe like good liquor good alcohol good weed whatever the case may be they're going to come in and encourage you to enjoy the finer things in life like they're going to come in with the ease and this nourishment for your body and for your soul. They're going to help you out. And this whole time, they're not going to let you know that they see you as their happily ever after or as their, their perfect partner or their perfect match. They're going to keep that very close to their heart, but they're going to act in ways and behaviors. They're going to let you know that they very much care for you and where and like they very much want you around. They want to make things work, you know, and they're in the energy of feeling like they're very unlovable. And so they may see that with you. You guys are probably sharing in that energy. So they're going to speak a lot of love and a lot of uh, light into you. And you're probably going to do the same thing for them. Because it's just the energy of like, like, look, together they're like watching the sun. They're watching this situation blow up or grow up together, you know. And so that's kind of like where you guys are going to be at together. Like, just kind of like watching this situation turn into something together, you know. And I'm seeing with this Taurus energy, you got a lot of Taurus energy. So that's kind of slow. And then you have a lot of air energy, which gives me a lot of communication. And it's not a lot of water energy. So there's not a lot of feelings. I mean, there could be some feelings being shared, but they're not like, <clears throat> it's not a lot of feelings. But what it's doing is opening up your heart chakra. It's allowing you to feel more loved, you know, to recognize that you are loved. This is healing your heart chakra. This is what this relationship is going to do for these people that come in. They're going to be healing your heart chakra. All right. Showing you what you truly need. And it's going to boost your intuition for you to really know, like, what is it that I need? What are my needs? And are they met? That's how they're going to come in and help you out. They're going to speak life into you and make you feel lovable. And then they're going to make you uh, inquire or, or think to yourself, are my needs being met? And then you're going to realize that you deserve the finer things in life because you got the Sagittarius energy, which is about exploring, exploring the life's pleasures. So it's going to get you outside of a rut. You know what I mean? Because this is energy that you haven't transformed or transmuted into anything with the sun in reverse. This is just energy where you're not quite expressing yourself to your truest potential or not quite expressing yourself as openly or as brightly as you can. You may be dimming to fit in. And so this person is going to bring that out of you because you may feel like you're not lovable. And maybe that's why you're dimming to fit in so that people don't notice you. But they're going to see you, notice you, put a light on you, illuminate you, speak life into you, recharge you. 
and then you're off again to the races. But they're doing it, not saying that you're going to leave them. I'm saying that you're back into the game again. And the reason that they're doing this is because they see you as a happily ever after or as a perfect partner. You know, not necessarily doesn't have to be romantic. It can be because I don't see too many cups. So it doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. It can be more so in a business proposition where they're going to help you enjoy the, the fruits of your life of labor. You know, like they want you to really experience the best parts of life. They want to nourish you. They want to be compassionate with you. They want you to have ease. They want you to notice your power. They want you to notice how loved and how valued you are. And they want to give to you. And they want your means. They want to show you that these means by which I'm doing it is going to like it's going to pay off. It's going to show you that the effort and the time and the, and the things that I'm doing for you are going to pay off in the long run. And they're going to be worth the time that it took for me to build it in this way. Okay. But they're not going to come off all outright letting you know that they see you as this perfect person to them or as their person. So that's that's going to be the first thing. But they will do is speak a lot of life into you. A lot of love, a lot of life, a lot of encouragement. That's what they're going to do. And that's how you'll be able to know them. OK, so one more time, the signs that we have Aquarius, Gemini, uh, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius and Taurus again. OK, so pile four, this was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house.